I'm Martin, uh, and I am the male-specific ISFA for Devon and Cornwall for First Light. So there's two main parts to my role. Uh, the first part of that role is to be the um, client-focused male ISFA. So all the males who report sexual violence across Devon and Cornwall uh, who get referred into First Light, they get referred to me. So I'm their first point of contact, uh, the first person that speaks to them. Uh, to start offering them support going through the criminal justice process. Uh, and the second part of my role is uh, to effectively develop my own role. So I'm um, heading up alongside my line manager, uh, the drive to improve the way we do things effectively, improve uh, how we support men. Uh, and then as a byproduct of realizing how we can better support men, uh, we're actually starting to discover quite a few ways that we can better support women as well. Historically, yeah. there's there's been a real reluctance from men to come forwards uh, and um, let the world know that things, have, uh, that things have happened to them and sexual violence has happened to them. And I think there is uh, a slow trend, but definitely an upward trend of the number of men who are coming forward and reporting, feeling confident enough to report. Uh, and I think becoming part of that cycle is really important. So giving men that opportunity to get male specific support that they might not have known that they had if they can then tell one other person or the police can tell more men that that's the case and that there's male specific support available uh then that trend's only going to continue to improve so far we've had we've had really good feedback um we've had lots of positive testimonies from clients that we support uh, to some men, it doesn't matter if they have a male or a female support, and, and that's great. But then to some people, it really does matter. Um, and being able to provide that support for those who it really does matter to, that they have um, a fellow man supporting them through, um, that's that's been a massive take home, that there are people who it really does matter to, that um, they, they get male support. Um, from from the beginning, hopefully the whole way through to criminal justice. So the first thing that we've done uh, is that we've set a, um, a, a chain of events uh, that is specific to males who report. So that starts with the first, uh, the first offer of support that they get coming directly from myself rather than the triage service. So the first person who talks to them is a man. As a result, that reduces the number of people in the chain and that feeling of being passed through a long chain of people and kind of not being listened to so instantly um men are men get that feeling that somebody is listening to them and somebody believes them and that's really important um that's come from then uh asking uh if they have a preference on the gender of their ISFA. Uh, and one thing that we've also learned from that is that some women do have a preference on the gender of their ISFA. and any women that ask for a male ISFA get sent to me as well which is uh, an important lesson to learn across the board that people will have uh, will have preferences. Uh, so the second thing then uh, is that um, as all contact is made direct from me, it means that there's not that pressure um, to respond instantly. I give people quite a long time uh, to give me a first response or to acknowledge that they've received my text message and I don't bombard them with information at a time that's obviously very disrupted to them. So I'll send a text. I'll leave it a week. I'll send a second text and then I'll leave it another couple of weeks. And at that point, uh, the plan is now that if we haven't had any engagement, we'll just send out an information pack so that people can then come back to us uh, when they feel ready to, to talk to us. They don't have to talk to us. There's no pressure to do that. We make that very clear. But if they do want to come back to us when they're ready, we're going to make it that they have the information available to them to then do that on their own terms and empower them to make decisions regarding their own life, which is a really important thing to do to give power back to people who have had it taken away from them. After that, um, we've had a bigger project, uh, which is to improve the service in general, not just the service direct to clients and uh, and how we contact them, but to give them more options after we're working with them. So we've worked really hard to develop better cooperation with other mail services across Devon and Cornwall to set up referral pathways so that if we can't help directly with something, we know exactly who can help directly with something. Uh, so that might be mail specific counselling support or mail specific peer to peer groups where people can go and realise that they're not the only person that is in the situation that they're in 
and in coming forwards, they've actually opened up a world of opportunity to themselves to be able to get that extra support that they might not have realized that they need until it's available to them. So that's been a really big step to, to form those much stronger partnerships with other, with other companies. Uh, we've also, across the entire team, be that male or female members of staff, we've uh, instigated training sessions so we can better understand the male specific responses to trauma uh, and understanding how they differ from female responses to trauma. And again, that's been beneficial to both supporting men and supporting women to understand that there are those differences so you can you can really tailor your approach to whoever it is that you're helping um and then as i said earlier we're going to have male specific uh, male specific information to pass over to people that come to us so we can send them details to male specific support or to websites and information packs that explain their male specific response to what's happened to them and why it is they're feeling like they're feeling and why it is that that isn't necessarily the same as women that they know who have been through the same thing. And it kind of helps men to better understand their own reaction and their own response um, without them feeling like they're just an addition or they've just been kind of given all the same information that, that women have received. And again, that helps us support everybody better, not just men. But I think it's really important to let men know that there are reasons for how they're feeling uh, and there are ways to stop them feeling like they're feeling. So there's uh, multiple ways in which that you can uh, refer yourself to our service uh, and also multiple reasons why you could refer yourself to our service. So I'll talk about the reasons first. Uh, so those reasons could be firstly that you have reported to the police that uh, you have been the victim of sexual violence either historic at any time or acute it could have happened yesterday it could have happened today and anything in between um, if you've told the police the police should have asked you if you're if you want a referral to the ISFA service but if they haven't then you can refer yourself to us as well by going on our website by phoning our um our helpline which is all available on the website as well and through all our social media all the details are on there uh, the second reason that you could come forwards to first light uh, as a man wanting to report is that uh, a crime has been committed against you or you think a crime may have been committed against you but you're not quite sure um, and if that's the case and you haven't reported to the police you can come to us um, for a conversation uh, an open options meeting where we discuss every choice that you have available to you uh, and discuss the pros and cons of why you might go down each of those available routes of either reporting to the police or deciding not to report to the police uh, or just submitting evidence uh, to us that we can pass to the police um, to then start your journey to, to recovery.